Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we are going to discuss about using AdoCap to perform address resolution protocol poisoning. So AdoCap is a tool available in Kali Linux that allows you to scan the entire environment for host. And from there on, you can actually look out for target systems and be able to launch address resolution protocol poisoning by broadcasting ARP of the MAC addresses and IP addresses into the network, poisoning the ARP cache within those systems, and immediately you'll be able to perform man-in-the-middle attack. And once you're in the man-in-the-middle, you can look out for usernames, passwords, session IDs, cookies information, and you'll be able to copy and replicate many of those data into the hacker machine and then you can replicate those sessions and be able to perform a lot of post exploitation or post attacks so without further ado let us get started on today's tutorial so here i got virtualbox running and we got windows 10 over here on one of the virtual machines so i can enter cmd and we can enter the ip config to see the ip address of the target machine so Windows 10 is going to be the victim machine. So whatever browsing information it is going to access into a server will be able to see it and be able to take note of the usernames, passwords, browsing, and so on. So moving forward, we got the server running. So here I have Metasploitable and I can enter ifconfig. So ifconfig would actually tell us the IP address of 192.168.1.10. So this is the target server. So we got a target victim and we got a target server. And then from here on, we will be able to actually conduct the ARP poisoning. And from there, we will be able to look into all the traffic going in and out of the client server. So moving forward, we are going into Kali Linux. So Kali Linux here is a virtual machine and we can open up terminal. So from here on, we can zoom in a little so it's easier for you to see and we can launch Adacap. So once you launch Adacap dash capital G, it will boot up the user or graphical user interface of Adacap. So once you're in Adacap, the first thing you go to is on the sniff. So when you go to sniff, you go into unified sniffing and you indicate the network interface. So in this case, I only have ETH0 as well as a local loopback. So we are going to select ETH0. So for your case, it could be a Wi-Fi, it could be a wireless, it could be any of those interface. So you have to choose them correctly. So go ahead and click OK. And this would be able to start up the unified sniffing on Adacap. So moving forward, the first thing we want to do is actually scan for hosts. So the great thing about Adacap is they will scan through the entire sub-network or the network mask and tell you where are all the hosts. So if you go in to the host list, here we can see all the hosts within your sub network so here as mentioned earlier we got a couple of ip addresses that we are targeting so one is the 192.168.1.10 and we're going to add this as target one and number two we're going to go to 192.168.1.19 and we're going to target this as target number two so we're going to add this to item two and once you've done that, you can go into the targets and you can look at the current targets. So from here, you can see what are the targeting questions. And of course, you can begin your ARP spoofing. However, before we go there, I'm going to launch a new window terminal. And on a new window terminal, because we want to be able to capture all this traffic with Wireshark, so we are going to change some configuration within Linux. So the first thing we want to do is we are going to change a way how we are looking into the traffic. So what we are going to do is we can enter or you can go into cat slash proc slash sys slash net slash ipv4 slash ip underscore forward. And then if you hit enter, you can see that the default value is zero. Because we want to start capturing, we have to change this to one. So we put echo one proxys net ipv4 followed by ip underscore forward and then you hit enter on that so once we do that we have changed the configuration and we can launch wireshark together with adacap so once we have wireshark launch we're gonna capture all those traffic on eth0 so double click on it it starts to capture and how now what we're gonna do we go to adacap and we go into the MITM, which is man in the middle attack. We click ARP poisoning and we click sniff remote connections and click OK. 
So once you do that, on the backdrop of this, you can see a lot of ARP information is being sent out into the environment to confuse the different IP addresses. So once we have done that, we are now poisoning the ARP cache of all these machines. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Windows 10 and we're going to launch Internet Explorer, for example. And say I'm in a login page and the login page could be any server that we're poisoning. So, for example, if I enter the username as well as the password and I click login. So once I click login, immediately what happens is that because there is a man in the middle attack going on right now in Call Linux. And if you go into Autocap, you can actually see here that we have the content, username Samurai and the password of Samurai, which allows the login to completely access into the system, allowing us to view all of those content. So there you're seeing it, how quickly we could actually select the targets in the network and be able to launch the man-in-the-middle attack using ARP poisoning of Autocad. So once you do that, you'll be able to use Wireshark to look up for all the traffic coming in and out in between the server and the client PC. And you can see the usernames, password, session ID. And from there on, you can actually launch a lot more out of post exploitation, a post attack. Now that you have the credentials or now that you have the session ID and you have those cookie values that you can actually utilize to perform further attacks into the environment. So I hope you have learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will try my best to answer any of your questions. So remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorials. Thank you so much again for watching.